Hi, everyone, and welcome to the third live session of a series with the Graduate of Management Admissions Council, also known as GMAC, um, who are a global mission-driven association of leading graduate business schools since 1953. During the session, we'll be speaking to David Ortega, MBA alumni of EGADE of Tecnológico de Monterrey, and current external consultant at GMAC, who will share his experience and offer advice on graduate business schools. Before we begin, this is a friendly reminder that we are repeating this session in Spanish at 9.30 PST, that is 12.30 Eastern time. So feel free to join us for that as well and share with your friends. Also, this session includes a Q&A session in the end, so we highly encourage everyone to leave questions in the comments down below in order for us to address them later on. On another note, we're celebrating Hispanic uh, Heritage Month today. So let us know in the comments how you celebrate your cultural heritage. Please leave your answers and we'll be happy to read those over. Um, now back to our session. Hi, Loie. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Can you begin with, by telling us a little bit more about your background? Yeah, sure. Hello, Valeria. Hello, everyone. Thanks for inviting me and for joining us. My name is David Ortega from El Salvador. I am an MBA in Innovation and Entrepreneurship from EGADE Business School. Industrial engineer and public accountant. I have worked in improvement projects, operations, and business intelligence for companies such as Kimberly Clark, Oracle, HBSC, and GMAC. Uh, thanks again. I am so happy to be here. Uh, and it's going to be a pleasure for me to share a little bit about my experiences and my journey deciding to study an MBA abroad. Yeah, thank you for joining us today. That is certainly a very impressive background. So how how did your GMAT journey begin? Uh, well, where to start? Because making the selection of, the, of a business school is, is hard and difficult. Uh, as many elements are involved, type of the journey, cost, country, among others. However, having the support of the experts of the admission processes and the GMAC tools facilitate to me uh, to find the best options. At the beginning, I started to look for a program that had a fit with my interests that were innovation, networking experiences, and as a dream, and entrepreneurial specializations. I started looking for universities and as a common factor, surprise, uh, they asked me for the GMAT test. So uh, in this journey, I found that take the GMAT test opened to me many options and many opportunities, uh, especially in the best universities worldwide. Uh, in my case, I didn't go deeper in the information of GIM, that GMAC offers beyond the test. Uh, well, my, my mistake, because now I can tell to you, please enter to mba.com, use the resources to prepare the exam because the journey will be easier. Uh, get in touch with entities and with as uh, study in the U.S. to get information and get infor and be informed about it. After that, I decide to apply to two different uh, schools, and uh, I was accepted in these two schools, and I select a other business school from Tecnológico de, Mon de Monterrey in Mexico, where I am living right now. Uh, well, during the program. Uh, I was one of the one that studied an MBA in pandemic time. So considering the pandemic, my experience was impacted as almost all my classes were online. And create connections was a little bit more difficult than usual. But at the end, I got the most of the program. I really enjoy every step. And definitely, uh, it's open to me a lot of opportunities. That's amazing. I, I can't imagine going to grad school during the pandemic. That must have been really hard, especially with the transition. But it's great that you did that and you conquered. Um, next, what, what additional resources did you tap into while you were going through this journey? Uh, well, I decided to study alone and to take this journey by myself. But it was a dark time to me uh, because I was working, I was developing some personal projects, and also I was studying and preparing all the things that are, that are needed in order to apply to a business school. Uh, I remember that I used what was able on, on the internet. I 
took my university books and let's um, go ahead, study and take the test. But definitely, please do not follow that, my path. Be because, why? Because I have, a, as I have already mentioned, GMAC offers a lot of tools to facilitate this journey. Uh, join to MBA.com, use the test prep, um, all the resources in order to connect with the university definitely will make your life simple. Yeah. No, I, I definitely, I can agree with that. Like a little bit of help can go a long way and these resources are great for that, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah and, you are, and you are going to take a... Uh, a big decision in your life because you are taking your master, you are choosing your school. So a lot of variables that maybe have a guidance is going to be good for this yeah. journey. 100%. So what, what were some of your admission outcomes? I know that you've already talked about that a little bit. We can go a little bit more in depth into what schools you apply to. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, well, when I was accepted in my in my two options, I was in a trade-off because each university offers pros and cons. Um, well, you are in a noisy environment where, where people is telling you this is good, this is bad, and there are a lot of information that you are trying to process. Uh, but hopefully, I have two admission experts in each university uh, that bring me the opportunity, brought me the opportunity to ask for all the details. They answer all my questions about it, and they were a lot of questions. Uh, but um, also, they brought me the opportunity to meet the alumni that I think that it was key. And this is space uh, that US, studying in US brings to the to the candidates to listen. Uh, from alumni, what what is happening and what was the journey is so useful because they are gonna tell you the the truth. Finally, uh, the key factor to make my choice was the entrepreneurial component that the program of EGADE has, uh, because as I told you, um, well, it was my dream to study this specialization. Um, also, I, I, I am an entrepreneur. And I love the entrepreneurial ecosystem and all the topics that are related with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it sounds like that program was definitely the program that met all of your needs and desires in graduate school. Um, before we ask the final questions, you know, we're, we're reaching the end of our session, but uh, Sunny so USA would like to be would, would like to share share a form with you guys via Instagram story, where you can give us some feedback about today. So let us know if there's any topics you would like to see from us in the future, or any suggestions that you have for future live sessions. Also remember to type your questions in the comments um, for Q and A session at the end. So for our last question, um, David, is there any advice that you'd like to share with those of us? For watching you today. <laughs> mm, yes, I would like to share three advices. The mm. first one is at the beginning of the process, when you are trying to look for what do you want to study, define what you want and your interest, because you will have a lot of options, good deals, but if you have defined the, uh, your interest and what you are looking for, uh, stay true of them because it's gonna be the, the easy way to select and to choose the best option for you. Because there are a lot of programs, but you have to find the ones that is for you. Right. And the second one is, I want to encourage you to use the resources that are available in, in GMAC, that there are a lot of resources that are free, and trust me, will make your journey easy. Uh, don't be afraid to raise your hand and ask for help because the, the, the ones that we have been in, the, in this process, we know that uh, it's difficult. Um, it's not, it's not, we, you don't have to be ashamed to, to ask for help. And finally, uh, don't be afraid to take your decision, uh, but be informed 
the look for help for the experts as a study in US and the admission experts of the university. And you will listen to a lot of comments uh, of this is good, this is bad, but everyone tells you uh, how the party was depending on how they leave it. So uh, hence be brave and take the opportunities that the universities and the programs that you are looking for can bring to you. That, that's really good advice. Thank you for sharing that with us. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the Q&A session. I mean, some of, the, some of the questions that we have from our audience today, well, first of all, is do you recommend pursuing an MBA full-time or part-time in order to be able to work simultaneously? Well, I think that one is not better than the other. More than that, uh, each have their characteristics and that can fit or not with you. Uh, in my case, I study a full-time MBA uh, because I love to come back to be a full-time student. I really, want, I really want to have a break and think which is going to be the path that I would like to follow for the next years. Uh, um, I also love the experiences of the trees, the exchange programs that these formats offer to me that are different from a part-time MBA. Yeah. Also, I was blessed with the support of my family, especially my mom, to take this one-year journey. I wanted to, to be out also of my MBA as soon as possible, so I take the the shorter program that was a full time, but uh, there are a lot of people that part time makes sense in order while, with the objective that they are looking for. So yeah. uh, take into consideration the characteristics of both and um, make my um, think if if they may match with the, what you are looking. Yeah. No, it's that's really wise. Actually, I'm the same way as you. Like for just dedicating myself to like whatever I'm doing instead of kind of like focusing on like you know a job and then school but certainly you know not everyone is like that um there's a question from Mildred how long have you been how long will it take to prepare for the GMAT well for me I remember that I decided to study an MBA by September 2020 um well I take my exam by July 2021. So I think that it was like six months in order that, that I try to study, to get uh, the tools in order to prepare for the exam. And well, I, I take it. I really recommend to you to, if you are going to take the GMAT test, well, I want, there are free exams and there also are some uh, payable tools that you can use. I didn't use it, but I regret about it because I think that uh, I got a surprise when I was in the exam taking some questions because when you look for internet, you you have some rationals and some similar questions, but they are not the same when you are in front of that exam. So uh, be careful about it. Uh, I think that you be you have to be respectful with this test and and dedicate the time that is necessary in order to to get the the grades that that you want to obtain. Yeah. So following up on what you said about you know wishing that you would have known this particular thing before taking the exam, what's your best advice for someone who has to retake the exam? Well, I think that. There are, I think that there could be a, lo a lot of options in order to, that you, when you don't obtain the grade that you want. Uh, and the first thing is do try another things. Uh, because if you try the, the same method, we have proved that it's not the correct in order because everyone oh, is different and everyone has an, a study method that works for them. So, uh, Look for help. Uh, there are a lot of test press of organization that can help you in order to prepare for the exam and to give you a personalized information in order to follow and to prepare it. So uh, 
try again. Uh, you have five times in the life in order to try it. So I think, or it, I think. So try again, but definitely you have, you must try another method. Uh, maybe study harder. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, that's something that they always tell you, right? Whenever, whenever you fail at something, the way that you did it, you, you can't expect to get different results if you just reapply the thing. Right, right. definitely, that. yeah. Yeah. So for a last question, what made you take the GMAT over any of its competitors? Well, GMAT, because in my journey, when I start looking at universities, uh, universities was the proposed me as the first exam to take um, and in my research well uh, GMAC opened you the a lot of opportunities and options in order to apply to the main universities and business school worldwide so uh, and when I asked for my admission admission council in in the in the university they also tell me that well you are going to take a, an mba and uh, well is is the ones that is going to prove and it's going to evaluate the the different parts uh, of the skill that you need in order to 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 be success in this program so this also make me take the decision to take this in order to another competitor. Okay, great. Well, um, with that, well, David was extremely helpful and we're so glad to have you on today. We're looking forward to our next session in November where we will meet another MBA alumni and discuss the importance of soft skills and what employers are looking for according to recent studies. Stay tuned for more information on that and well, thank you, David, for joining us today. We'll see you again at 9.30 for the Spanish session. And so with that, we end this live session. Thank you. Thank you so much, Valeria, and all for joining. Of course. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Bye.